Hey guys, we are at Bridgestone Arena, and tonight we're gonna bring you guys a video that I've never done before, done it at some other arenas, and we're gonna give you guys an entire arena tour. And the game starts in a little less than an hour, but we have uh, plenty of time to give you guys the full tour of Bridgestone Arena set up for a hockey game, so let's do it. To start out, these are the main doors when you walk in. I think it's pretty cool. You walk in, you have all the NHL teams right there. It looks absolutely awesome. Um, and we're actually going to come downstairs last. First, we're going to go upstairs and we're going to check out the upper deck. So when you first walk in, you can hop on these escalators and, uh, and you'll get up to the top, the 300s level. So let's do this. The standard stairs up here uh, are blue, gold, and white, which reds colors, which is pretty awesome. And of course, they have epic photos on here um, from playoff series pass pretty quick you can also take the escalator to get up the top but here we are coming in at 305 and 306 um, first thing we notice is there are concessions up here um, and a really awesome redhead I'm gonna walk in and give you guys the view from up here all right so here we are this is kind of when you first walk in here in 305 um, and you kind of have a great view. This first few rows in the 300s is absolutely uh, beautiful. I love it. This 300s level is incredibly steep, like almost uncomfortably steep with how uh, like vertical the 300s is compared to like the lower bowl. So that's, that's very interesting. But we're going to go ahead and go to the top and give you the view from the very top row of this building. All right, here we are. We're on the top row, and you can look here across. We're right next to cell block 303. This is the world famous 303 with all their famous chants. You really get a great view here of, uh, of how steep that is. Um, when you look at that, it's so steep. Oh, look at that. The lights are going down, but this is the view. It's actually not a bad view. I have watched many games from all the way up here, and it's not bad at all. So that's pretty cool. But we're going to go back down and just kind of give you guys what you can find around the upper bowl concourse. So let's check that out. Once again, this is very steep and kind of intimidating to walk down. So I don't love it. Here's a pretty awesome view from above at everyone entering in those main doors. Pretty cool to see all the action down there. As we continue on, what you're gonna see is there are lots of like little carts uh, for food and beverage. Um, but a lot of the shops that are downstairs are also up here. So like, for example, here's a Puckett's barbecue. You can find that downstairs um, and you can also get it upstairs. So it's not like the people downstairs have such a better setup than the ones upstairs. This is pretty cool. Um, it's a thing for high school hockey here in Nashville. Uh, and I love how they have all the teams right here and over here, which is pretty cool. I played high school hockey in Nashville. I was terrible um, and just an absolutely horrible athlete but still really cool and it's pretty neat i love it this is a pretty neat thing they do have tvs up here that just kind of give you hey here's where you can find food here in the 300s so that's pretty awesome to have up here and of course sometimes you need a charge and so they have a themed charger which is pretty awesome little stuff like this pretty neat absolutely love it reminders of that horrible game that was so fun I'll link that video in the description below. Go check that out. I brought up earlier, they had the same things up here that they have downstairs and pizza and burger right there. <laughs> pizza and burger right there. It's awesome. They have just added Icy to this place, which is awesome. And these twice daily locations have coffee and all that type of stuff as well. Great. This is known as the Fan Zone. Um, it goes to different sponsors, but this is one of the best places. We're going to be able to go all throughout it. You can see Fan Zone over there. But this is my favorite part of the arena if you want to get a great deal on a budget. Pretty cool stuff. When I was a kid coming to games, we would always sit in the fan zone. There was the Applebee's family fun zone back then. And you could get... Is that all the food. Yeah, yeah, it is. Morning. What's up? But it's very nostalgic. This is where we always sat. So I love it. But it's awesome. Check this out. You know, you have all this. Look at young Roman Yossi. That's awesome. Uh, but you have this, and if you are up here, uh, you know, you have a great view, and you can just stand here and watch. Uh, pretty cool stuff. And this is an awesome view. And they even have, like, a little pro shop up here, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Really love it. Um, keep running into people I know, which is, is kind of fun. And you come right here. These are going to be some of the booths where 
Uh, they're gonna do some replay stuff and some manager's booths and things like that. So that's pretty awesome. You can see that right here. Authorized personnel only. This is where they do like the replay stuff, uh, which is pretty awesome. And of course, when you're up here, you still have this great view. And this is actually where the media is. Uh, so that's pretty neat right there. You can kind of see them all up there. Let me see if I can get a better angle. All the media is right there, which is pretty neat. I love that. I'm gonna go ahead and start the process of heading downstairs. I do love right here, there's like a dining area with tables and stuff like that. Pretty neat. So we're gonna head downstairs to the 200s. I'm gonna give you guys some highlights in the 200s. Let's check those out. Also, there are these like back hallways that you can take around and they feel incredibly sketchy. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend coming into them alone, but you can definitely get around using them if you don't want to take like the main stair areas. Um, see, watch this, boom, 200s and sweet level. I've not seen this before because I don't come up here, but this is like a full out like place to eat. Let's see what they have. They have burgers and fries, chicken tenders, all that stuff. Um, but that's pretty cool. A nice little eating area here in the 200s level. That's gonna have to, maybe we'll make another video reviewing it. I wanna interrupt this video really quick. First, if you don't mind leaving a like and maybe a subscribe, that means so much to me. And also, I mentioned in this video, if you want me to do a food review of a different place in Bridgestone Arena, I would love to do some food reviews of dining locations inside of Bridgestone Arena. So comment below which places you would like to see us review next time we're in Bridgestone Arena. Let's get back to the video. And this 200s level is gonna be like some suites, some upper suites, and the 200s level seating. And I will show you some of those uh, seating options here in a minute um, as we come around. And I really do love a lot of what they have in here. Something I love about this building is just like the music history of like all the artists that have performed here. You can kind of see some posters of people um, and tours. And I think that's really neat. Here's actually the other entrance. We'll get to it in just a minute, but that is a, another second entrance. It's kind of the pathway, soft umbrium, pretty awesome way to get in. Um, and like everywhere in this, every floor in this building, you do have a place to buy merchandise. And look, there's a stadium series coming up. The 200s actually might be the best place to watch a game. It's the most leg room and you have this incredible view. Um, no matter where you sit, it's just an awesome view of the game. So definitely worth checking out the 200s if we're coming to a game in Bridgestone Arena. And of course, your normal hot dog and burger really helps spread out the crowds. You never have to wait a long time here to eat, which is awesome. The rest of this area is primarily suites and, and more just tunnel entrances. So we're gonna go ahead and head down the stairs um, right here uh, by all these windows that look out at the Hilton and Broadway. We're gonna head downstairs and check out the lower bowl. We came down the stairs to the most dangerous place of this arena, the Christie Keepy Stand. Incredibly dangerous and immediately you're gonna notice that the restaurants and uh, and places are a little bit more well themed um, and they're gonna have a little bit extra. Another thing that's great is this grilled cheese stand that you can find right here. Um, that is pretty awesome. Now we're actually gonna turn around. So this is the main entrance where we came in earlier. We're gonna turn around and go back this way. Uh, and we're gonna check out the full lap of the arena as we head towards my final destination, which are our seats. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Never seen that before. Pete and Terry's. The lower bowl has a different level of energy. It's just a big crowd as everyone gathers around. I don't know, it's just kind of cool. Over here, you do have the Nashville locker room. This is a uh, this is a place where you can come buy merchandise. It is like the main pro shop. I love the sign, it draws you in. Um, and I'll go kind of show you around it. I'm not gonna go into detail, but I'll, I'll kind of point the camera around. As you can see, there are a ton of options. Um, this place is pretty large and kind of modern and pretty nice, so I really love, really love it here. Um, don't buy a lot, it's expensive, but we're gonna keep moving on. One of the cool features of this arena is the Jersey Carousel. I just saw a Canucks fan taking a video of this, uh, but this is awesome. And if you buy a jersey and get it customized, they put it on the jersey, I think they actually call it the Jersey Roller Coaster, which is kind of fun. Just constant places to buy merch. Ooh, this is also a jersey. I haven't seen these yet. I'm wearing my All-Star jersey from 2016, but if you want to spend $200, you can have one from this year. Those are good looking though. Once again, you have these twice daily locations. They're a bit bigger downstairs, um, but they're a great option if you want to grab. You have the Barrel House, which is going to have live music 
and that's pretty cool. Gives you that real natural vibe, and then the pockets of barbecue right there. So when we're in the bowl, as you can see right here, there's a stage, uh, and that's where live music is played during the game. So that's pretty awesome. Sometimes stars play it specifically during the playoffs and things like that. So that's pretty cool. It's incredibly loud in there right now, but pretty awesome. Down here, you do have like pretzels and ice cream and popcorn and things like that. That's everywhere. Merchandise stands everywhere in this building. And then, of course, you have Nashville hot chicken because if you're a tourist in Nashville or just a local Nashvilleian who loves hot chicken, you've got to have it. All these poles also have like musical artists. There's Darius Rucker, there's Short Straight. That's a cool, unique thing about this building. I see Kenny Chesney on one up ahead so pretty neat to have that and then of course it opens up in here and you have a lot more space uh, to walk through they do auctions for charity right there at the Preds Foundation booth and you do have just food and and all that stuff down through here so pretty great more merchandise stands now if you look right here this is where they do the Valley Sports uh, broadcast and tonight it's Lindsay Rowley and Hal Gill which is pretty awesome they're gonna do the broadcast tonight pretty cool as we approach this direction, you see kind of the main entry where we came in earlier. Um, that is uh, almost the complete tour here of this building. One of the most underrated things is that you can bring your own plastic water bottle that's empty and do this. And this will save you like $4 if you fill up your water bottle. And I am cheap, so that's what I do. I'm gonna go ahead and walk into the lower bowl now and kind of show you guys the view. If you watch a lot of my videos, you kind of know this view because uh, I'm going to where I normally sit. This is the view here in the middle of the lower bowl. It is awesome, super great. I mean, check out the view from Road D. It's just, you can't beat it, it's the best. Some people might like a little bit higher, but we like this row because you're just close enough. Uh, to see the facial expressions. I have the opinion that you can be too low in the low bowl because you can't really see the glass seats. Not as great as advertised. You want to be up right, right about row D. All right, well that is it. That is the arena tour here at Bridgestone Arena. Um, it is one of my favorite arenas in the NHL. It was built in 1998, uh, 97 really. They have kept it so modern, which is so cool. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It means so much to me. If you don't mind hitting the subscribe button, the like button that helps me out so much and comment below what's your favorite feature about Bridgestone Arena I would love to hear it thank you guys again for watching see you next time